What is up, Bill Nation? It's your boy, Bill for Anything. And I know the year is just starting and you're saying to yourself, I need to find ways to save some money. But you know what? I got you. Because I'm gonna give you a tip today that I think is very, very important if you're trying to save money in 2018 and beyond. And you, I'm telling you guys, you won't believe the statistics that I got for you surrounding this one thing. All right, so take, take, take a walk with me. Let's, let's, let's figure it out. Okay, so what's the one thing that you can do today that can help increase the amount of money that you have in your bank account over time? That is, watch what amount of money you spend on food, okay? Now, easier said than done. I mean, who doesn't love food? I mean, I'm a foodie, I love me some food, right? But here's the thing, guys, growing up, we're so accustomed to seeing, you know, our mothers and grandmothers, you know, cooking for us, right? And as men, you know, you grow up, you say to yourself, you meet a nice lady, um, you get married or whatever, you know, she's gonna make you a cook, a cook meal, right? Wrong. See, here's the thing. 90% of Americans, 90, okay, don't know how to cook. That's a lot, okay? And the 10% that do, only 15% of them actually enjoy cooking. Uh, the four, another 45% don't like cooking. And then the other 45% is just sort of, they're kind of in the middle. So here's what I'm saying, guys. Chances are of you meeting a young lady that actually knows how to cook, it's kind of slim to none. But I'm not gonna just put this on the ladies because I'm also talking to you fellas out there. You shouldn't have to wait to meet a woman to cook for you, okay? You gotta take your health into your own hands, and I'm your boy. I got you, all right? I got you. I'm gonna help you guys um, understand and find ways to cook more and go out less. Now, here's another thing. Most millennials today are spending money on food and entertainment. And when it comes to food, guys, believe it or not, they spend more money on alcohol, okay? Like 25% more on alcohol than anything else, okay? So it's not like we don't have the money, it's just that we choose to spend the money on fast food and we want, you know, we don't have the patience to make something for ourselves. And so I want you guys to understand something. No matter what restaurant you go to, no matter what's your favorite food that you buy from whoever, you have to understand one thing. By the time it gets to you, to your plate, and you finish eating it and you pay for it, understand that you're paying a premium. No matter how good that food is, you're paying more than it actually costs to make that food, okay? It's just, that's how businesses are run. So you gotta say to yourself, if there's a burger that I like, right, or some sort of meal that I like, pasta, whatever, understand that you can make it yourself for a fraction of the cost, right? So when it comes to saving money, you gotta understand that where most people fail is they spend too much money on things that they can make themselves. So one quick way of kind of solving this is if you get up to go to work every day, you, you're buying your coffee, you buy your breakfast, you buy your lunch, um, and then by the time you get home, maybe you go out to a restaurant instead of making something for yourself. One quick fire way is to actually bring your own food with you, right? Which again, goes back to the cooking. And so you might be saying to yourself, man, I don't really know how to cook, right? I suck at it. Guys, I sucked at it, trust me, right? And I had to learn. And one of the ways I had to learn was I had to pick up a book, all right? There's plenty of books out there that can help you understand, you know, what are some things that you can make. And no matter what level you are in the cooking game, everybody has to start somewhere, okay? And if you do have people in your life that do know how to cook, you learn a thing or two from them. It's just the way it is, it's trial and error. But there's no better feeling than making something for yourself and you, you enjoy it, you wanna share with everybody. It's a way better feeling than going to a restaurant 
and every little thing that you want to add to it costs extra. This is about not just improving your bank account, but this is about improving your health, which is really, really important, okay? So what you got to do is this. You got to make a budget for the foods, for stuff that you want to eat when you go out. I'm not saying don't go out. I mean, who doesn't like going out? I mean, but if anything, when you go out, going out and buying food is a great way to kind of stimulate your creativity on maybe some dishes that you can make at home. I remember I went to this Mexican restaurant and they didn't really have much on the menu. So I always have to customize where I go because I'm vegan. And so the guy suggested, okay, let's, let's do fajitas. We're gonna do fajitas and we're gonna do um, vegetable fajitas, right? And he came out with rice and beans. He had the big plate of vegetables, the um, of the fajitas. He also had the um, tortillas. And I'm like, yo, I had a, this was like a banging meal. So what did I do? After that, I got home. I went to my net to my to my supermarket a couple of days later, and I bought the ingredients. And I started to make it for myself at home. So guys, anything that you see out there, you can make. And if you're, if you're not trying to buy a cookbook, then Pinterest is a quick way to do it too. There's plenty of recipes on Pinterest. You can literally go on Pinterest and just look up recipes and they're really easy to follow. So it's all about trial and error. Like you just gotta keep doing it. You get better at it. And the way I enjoy cooking is I always have some music playing in the background. Um, I might have um, sports in the background. You know, just something to kind of make it more stimulating for me, but I always love knowing that the finishing product comes out well. Like to me, you know, that, that, that again is one of the best feelings. So, I repeat, how are we gonna save money this year? One of the ways is cut back. Cut back on the amount of money that you spend at restaurants, fast food, and junk food. Buy some real food and make it yourself now i am going to do a video where i'm going to show you guys how i go to whole foods and not spend a lot of money because i know people always think if you're vegan that means that you have a lot of money guys that's not even the truth to be honest i spend the amount of money that i spend on food simply because i have the resources and i tend to aim for higher quality food so i'm into things like chia seeds and goji berries and cacao powder like these things you know they do cost a little bit more but when we come down to the basics in terms of like fruits and vegetables like i mean anybody could eat that you know potatoes sweet potatoes rice and beans lentils like these are things anybody can do so you don't need to be hella rich in order to live this lifestyle to be honest um if i didn't have the means i would still be vegan i would still be vegan you know so it's it, it's really really no excuse but I am gonna do a video where I'm gonna show you guys like, you know, how to, sub how to make meals for a week with just $50, you know? So, you know, things like that, you know, just to kind of debunk this whole notion of like, you need to make a lot of money or you need to spend a lot of money on vegan food. Also, farmer's markets are a good place to go to as well. You get a lot of vegetables and fruits cheap and you also support your local farmers. So that's another way to do it as well. So guys, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. It's your boy, Bo for anything. Peace and love. I will catch you on the next video. Peace.